Hi guys, uh, this is Addie from the CEDL, the Center for License and Teaching and Learning at Texas Western University. I'm here showing a quick instructional video on how to use Swivel for education. So first things first, you need to learn about setting up your Swivel. The first thing when you open the box, you're going to see that you're going to have to charge it. It comes with a charger, so charger swivel. Second thing, uh, you pick up an adapter that will fit the device that you're going to be using. In my case, I'm using an iPad, so I just try to use the adapter to best fit my iPad and put on that slot highlighted here on the presentation. Uh, when you put your iPad on that adapter section, uh, you need to make sure that you connect the audio cable from the swivel to the iPad. Um, that's very important too. As you can see on that little image, the marker is there. Um, there's a lid behind the swivel. That's where you're going to find this little dealio here. And this thing has the microphone in it. So I'm not going to raise it up to my face and my uh, mouth. Otherwise, it's going to be super loud but that's where this gets charged inside that lid, so you find inside that lid. Uh, you need to make sure that you sync the Bluetooth, so that's how you do it. So you have your iPad, this is how, like it's a screenshot of my iPad, going to your settings, um, then you click on Bluetooth, make sure that your swivel is charged and on, then if it's on, it's gonna be findable over there and discoverable, and you then click on the swivel thing over there. Uh, the next thing is fixing the marker, make sure that you turn it on, that's very important. Um, if the Bluetooth is already synced, um, the swivel is going to be moving around uh, depending on where this marker is. And also, when you want to start a presentation, you click the record button, that makes it start or stop. And if you want to advance the slides, you click the little buttons here, they're actually arrows in them, if you can see. So you just click to go forward or backwards. Um, and then this middle button was weird because initially I thought that you could switch between highlighting the presentation or yourself, but it turns out that you see the camera that is recording, recording my face side by side with the slides. So this is only for like a presentation presentation mode. If you want to see yourself bigger on the screen, you click this button, then you can see yourself bigger. But if you want to look at the slide that you have uploaded, you click again and the slide is going to be highlighted with you kind of small. Um, then the next thing that you need to know, you need to prepare your device. First things first, you need to download the app. When you download the app for the iPad and the iPhone, you are prompted to create an account. Uh, so create an account with Swivel. Uh, this is where you find it. So this is my iPad screen. That's where I put my Swivel Capture app. Once I launch it, it asks you if you want to capture just the video or capture the video plus the slides. One thing that you need to know is that if you decide to do the video plus the slides, you need to upload, upload the slides in advance. And you go into their website, the Swivel website, and log in. And as you can see, the only presentation formats that they accept is JPEG or PNGs, which are image formats. So the way I created this particular presentation is that I went to Microsoft PowerPoint. And once I was done creating all the graphics and all the content, I went to Save as Images. And then I uploaded into the website, this cloud website. Whenever you're recording the video, there's a timer on top. Uh, the only bad thing about the swivel that I would say is that you only have a certain amount of free minutes that you can record. If you want to store more than that, then you have to pay for the service. Um, but this is a pretty cool lecture capture thing. So if I'm teaching at a class, I could be doing this and I can be showing something on the screen. I have the presentation on the bigger screen. But as you can see, the swivel was moving around. I On the bottom of the swivel, there's a little... Uh, hole for you to put a tripod. So I set a tripod in the center of the lab here. And as you can see, I can be walking around. As long as I'm like slowly walking, the swivel is adjusting and walking around with me. So I'm going to go around this table so you can see the reach. So if you're teaching a class, you probably, um, if you're talking to a student or something, you have to get close to the student to use the microphone that is on the marker. Um, and then if I'm low, uh, like, high, the, the swivel kind of tilts uh, to, to like see me, 
See, like if I'm going here, and if I go lower, it should be able to tilt just a little bit. Because I put on the tripod, it really doesn't have to tilt, tilt that much. But it just moves around with me. So I got a little out of range there. But you can kind of see if it's coming with you or not, so it can just slow down if need be. <laughs> so the next thing is that uh, this is really easy and simple to pick up. If you uh, still have questions about how to use this, the Swivel Company has a Vimeo channel that has instructional videos on how to use this. Uh, but from me using and creating this activity, um, it was pretty simple to, to do. Um, and I don't see any negative things except for sometimes when you're walking and if you go too fast, it just doesn't follow you. And uh, the account being paid. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you like it. If you use this in your class, you want to share how it went, let us know. Write something. Probably you're seeing this because it was posted on the CETA website. So let us know what you think. And if you want to check it out, um, just ask us at the CETA. Okay? Have a good day. And then I'm just going to start the recording just by clicking this red button.